Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this one I'm going to be showing you the best Breloom build for raids in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And if you're lucky, the Breloom you catch might have a tiny mushroom. So starting off with a location, you want to put a waypoint around here, and then you want to fly over to Medali West. And then you want to just make your way over. Once you make your way over here, you'll see a terrestrialized Breloom. Don't catch that one. That will be a different type terror than we need. I think that's a rock type. If you're having trouble finding a Breloom, then make the number 28 sandwich, the herb sausage sandwich. Nice and quick, just catch up on herb sausage. And as you can see in the the top right corner we got encounter power fighting level one and after you do that you'll start to see a lot more brelooms that come with shroomishes you just want to encounter them and you want to catch brelooms until you get the fighting type terror now the held item we're going to be using is the toxic orb i'll show you where to get that right now first what you want to do is fly over to lavincia north once you're here you just want to head over to the deli bird shop which is right over here scroll down and near the bottom there will be the orbs you want to buy the toxic orb for fifteen thousand. once you get out of the deli bird shop i want you to turn right and head straight straight this way until you run into a shop that has a black and green front and it will have a chansey on the front of it i want you to go inside there and if you don't have an adamant mint i want you to go and buy one also if your breloom is not a poison heal breloom then you might have to buy an ability capsule because that's the ability we're going to use what this ability does is at the end of every round instead of losing hp because you're poisoned you will gain hp and this is why we're using the toxic orb so at the end of every round you will gain 12.5 percent of your max hp which will make us very hard to kill we're going to use the adamant mint on our breloom that we got earlier that will put our attack up and our special attack down we're going to put evs into hp and attack and you're going to want to make sure that you have max ivs as well on everything except your special attack now to get ivs you will need bottle caps to get bottle caps you just need to go to any deli bird shop there's one in all of the main cities go on general goods and they will sell them for twenty thousand each you want to buy five of those and then we're going to be heading over to montenevera and we're going to be going forward until we see a bomber snow and this guy we're going to speed to him he hyper trains your pokemon after you've clicked which pokemon you want to hyper train you want to click on bottle caps and you want to hyper train hp attack defense special defense and speed so let's go over the moves we have drain punch leech sheed sword stance and mac punch drain punch is going to be our main move it's going to do all our damage and we're going to recover a lot from it leech sheed we're going to use at the start of every raid this will give us hp back every single turn i'll raid no matter what happens sword stance will up our attack which will make drain punch do more damage and we have mac punch just as an extra move if we're ever about to die which is unlikely then we can just use it and that'll put us one step closer to our terrestrialization as you can probably tell this breloom is just a really annoying pokemon to have to play against in raids now leech sheed and mac punch you will learn just from level up so you don't need to worry about them too but we will have to learn drain punch and swords dance through tms and if you don't know where to learn tms you go to the pokemon center and it will be the green part the tm machine so drain punch is tm 73 it will cost you 8000 lp five crow gunk poison three mankey fur and three crabrawler shells i'm going to show you where to get all these items right now so to get the crow gunk poison you want to fly over to south province area five and we're going to be heading right here around this swampy area now if you use the fighting encounter power sandwich from earlier to get the breloom then that will make this part a lot easier because you will run into more crow gunk because they're part fighting types so as you can see these two right here just out Outside the swamp i'm gonna take these out and get our crow gunk poison you can also get manky in the same place that you can get the crow gunk so you just want to keep looking until you get all your crow gunk material and your manky fur now all that's left is the crabrawler shell so to get this you want to go up a little bit and right here on this little island you want to put a waypoint right there and then we're going to be flying over to east province area three rest stop once you're here i want you to just make your way over to the island once you get to the island there should be quite a few crabrawlers that you can take out and get your crabrawler shells next up we have tm88 sword stance this will require 5000 lp free zangoose claw free gibble scales and free cypher claws let me show you where to get those real quick so to get a zangoose claw you're going to be putting a waypoint right here and then you're going to be flying over to the shrine or if you don't have that fly over to poco path lighthouse and make your way over there now it can be quite hard to find so don't be scared to use a sandwich to help you find it and when you do find it you just want to take it out to get them zangoose claws so to get the gibble scales you want to fly over to alpha nada once you're at alpha nada i want you to go this way to this cave and then just go inside and start making your way down it'll be the alpha nada cavern when you go inside when you do find gibbles and gabites you just want to take them out and get your gibble scales now to get our cypher claws we're going to head over here so you want to fly over to medali west and make your way over there once you're here just look around the trees for a little bit and you should run into a cypher you just want to take it out to get its claws now that we've gone through 
the full build, time to get into some raids. We found our first raid. It's a five star ice type Musdale. Let's get straight into it. So as soon as you get into the raid, we're going to use Leech Seed. Even if he nullifies all the stats on his side, this will still heal us. So we get health back from the Leech Seed and we get poisoned. But because of our ability, instead of actually taking damage from the poison next turn, we will heal 12.5% of our max health. And then we're going to use two Sword Stance to kick off the fight before we start attacking. Then we're on plus four attack. As you can see, the Leech Seed along with the Poison Heal is just ridiculous. We've not even attacked yet with Drain Punch and we're already on max health again and again. Mudsdale has used Iron Defense, which will make this a bit annoying. But we're going to start attacking now with Drain Punch. Let's see how much it does. There's a little bit of damage because of the Iron Defense. Now all we're going to do is keep using Drain Punch until we get our Terrestrialize or until he nullifies our stats. So we use Drain Punch again. We should have our Terrestrialize now unless he takes some of it away and we're still on full health unless you're against a flying type that has like brave bird or something i don't see how you can die with this breloom in raids so we go back to full health with our leech seed and poison heal and now we can terrestrialize should be doing a lot more damage now usually we would do more damage but he had iron defense so we use drain punch after we terrestrialize it does over half of his shielding damage he nullifies all the stats and changes on our side now i'm not going to use sword stance now just because we're terrestrializing, we're doing a ton of damage anyway. If we just keep using Drain Punch, we're just going to win the raid regardless. So we use Drain Punch again to break that shield. The shield goes down. We've not even been at half health yet because of all this healing that the Breloom's doing. Mudsdale is a defensive Pokemon, and that on top of Iron Defense has been a bit annoying this raid. But we still managed to do it in the end. And the Mudsdale goes down. Let me tell you, I've never felt so disgusting using this Pokemon before with this setup. And I love it. So our next raid is going to be a 5-star normal type Gudra. Let's begin. Now, I'm not sure if this will have Sap Sipper or not. There's only one way to find out. It doesn't have Sap Sipper. That's great. It does hit us with a Sludge Bomb, however. Our Poison activates. Starting next turn, we're going to be gaining a lot of health back. We use Sars Dance to go on plus two. It uses Dragon Pulse, but we're going to heal all that back with Leech Seed and a Toxic Heal. Poison heal, sorry. He uses rain dance. We use another Sars dance, so now we're on plus four attack and we're ready to use drain punch next turn. It hits us with a Draco Meteor, but we're just gonna heal all that back with Leech Seed and Poison Heal. And then with a drain punch next turn, we will get all that health back and we will be on max health again. Beautiful. It does have gooey though, so we do slow down every turn. I think if we hit it with one more attack, then we will be slower than Gudra. It removes all negative effects from itself, that's fine. It nullifies all stats, that's not fine. And then it uses acid armor, that's it's definitely not fine. I really don't like that acid armor, so I'm going to use Swords Dance. This will put us on neutral again with the acid armor. And because it nullified us, we're just on neutral right now, so I'm going to use Swords Dance again. So we're on plus two compared to the Gudra's defense. And then we're going to start using Drain Punch again. So the Gudra is now faster than us, and it confuses us with a Water Pulse. Please, not like this. However, we do break through with a Drain Punch and deal a little bit of damage to it. It uses Water Pulse again. It doesn't do too much damage because we're a Grass type. Do we break through again we do that's great now we should have our terrestrialization we are the slowest we can be right now though we're gonna terrestrialize and use drain punch keeps putting us against these pokemon that can just really beef up their defense and they've got loads of hp i'm not liking it so we terrestrialize use drain punch and finish the gudra off it can't be fun playing against Breloom. poor gudra we found our third five star raid it is a drift limb and it is a rock type let's start it up now it is a flying type and we're four times weak to flying but it doesn't have brave birds so we might be fine. We start off with a Leech Seed. It starts off with a Thunder Wave. Not one of these Pokemon. We're going to risk it anyway. We're going to use Swords Dance. We're successful with the Swords Dance. I just realized we can't get poisoned because we're paralyzed. So we have to use a heal. So we're going to use a heal right now so we can actually get poisoned. It uses Hex on us, but it does next to nothing because we're not burnt or anything. And we get poisoned from our Toxic Orb, finally. And now we can use another Swords Dance. So we're on plus four attack now. We've got a Leech Seed going. We've got a Poison poison going and it can't use thunder wave on us it's just tried and failed now we're going to use drain punch to see how much damage this does it does quite a bit of damage most of its health it's using air slash but that won't do anything it, i don't think it kills me even with a crit it does nullify all the stat changes on our side though that could be trouble let's see how much health we get back so we get 40 health from the leech seed so we're just going to use drain punch just so we can get a bit of health back and try and get that terror we get a bit back that might be enough to survive. Doesn't use air slash anyway. This hex is doing a lot of damage though because we're poisoned. We get a lot of health back from the leech seed and poison. And now we're going to drain punch again. Get some more health back. It uses hex again. We're fine with that. It gets a crit and still doesn't kill us. Now.
now that we got our health back from Leech Seed and Poison Heal, we are terrestrializing. Now that we've terrestrialized, we're using Drain Punch and we finish the Drift Limb off. And just to rub it in, we've gone back to full health at the same time. Guys, please use this Brilliant. It's so much fun. It's so wrong for all the right reasons. Speaking of fun, if you haven't built a Toxtricity yet, then I'm going to put a build on screen right now and go and check it out. I'll catch you on the next one.